Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel. And in this video, I am going to be focusing on the game Lies of P on the Asus ROG Ally and settings you can tune to extend battery life while playing this game. Lies of P takes place in a dystopian world centering on the story of Pinocchio and saving Krat from its danger. I'm going to be looking at three areas for these settings. The first is the Universal X86 tuning utility software. The second is the Asus Armory Crate software, and the third is the settings that are within the game. So let's get started with the Universal X86 tuning utility, and I have that up on my screen here. This is the home area. We are going to navigate to the pre-made presets area, and I have this set as Eco Preset, ECO Preset. This preset is designed to prioritize energy efficiency over performance and that's going to help us extend battery life. We then are going to transition to the adaptive area in the X86 tuning utility. If you have not used this before, you are going to want to hit the synchronization button here to refresh your games, and then you are going to want to select Lies of P when that becomes available. So what I'd like to do is review the settings that I have set to extend battery life. Let's start with the max temperature limit on the CPU component of the APU, and we are working with the Z1 Extreme on the Asus ROG Ally. The Z1 Extreme has a base clock of 3.3 GHz with a boost clock of up to 5.1 GHz, though the clock speeds do not actually meet 3.3. They stay below 3.3. I've seen the clock speeds even go down to the one gigahertz range and have stayed in the low two gigahertz range as well so 60 is a good number here to have smooth gameplay let's look at our max power limit with this and i was actually surprised because i originally was thinking that 15 would be a good number but i was able to get it down to 12. now i did try 10 watts and it was working really well however when i went into two boss fights, I did see that the, or rather I heard that the sound started to be staticky. So I increased my test limit here to 12 instead of 10. And I see a transition between 11 and 12 while playing this game with the settings that I am going to share with you in this video. Let me transition to the maximum and minimum iGPU clock limit. I have these set at 800 and 400 megahertz respectively. I saw in the game that the clock speed on the GPU component like to stay at either 400 megahertz or 800 megahertz depending on the area and there wasn't consistency with this as to whether they stayed at one versus another. So I'm keeping the minimum and maximum to allow for that flexibility with the clock speed. I did not see a need for a further demand beyond 800 megahertz in playing this game. If we compared the GPU component to the 780M on the Ryzen 7 7840U, which is another Phoenix APU, the base clock for the 780M is between 1.2 and 1.5 gigahertz. So if this is equivalent, then 800 is below what the base clock would be for a similar GPU component. Transitioning to the minimum CPU clock limit, I left this alone. The default is at 1500. And with that, those are going to be our settings for the adaptive profile here assigned to Lies of P. Now, once you have set the settings within the x86 tuning utility, you are going to want to hit the floppy disk button here on the bottom right hand side and then you are going to want to initiate the adaptive mode. So if I just select this, it says start adaptive mode, meaning it is not on. So if I select it, then I will initiate the adaptive mode. So do make sure before you load the game that the adaptive mode is enabled or you are not going to see your settings reflected in the game. So now with that, let me transition to looking at the Armory Crate software. So let's go into that. And I have here my game library and I'm just going to select X on Lies of P. And I am going to go down to focus on configuration using the direction pad to do this. And as you can see, playing off power, 
I have this set at a manual profile. This is going to be my 12 watt profile. And I created this profile just to use for lies of P. Let me show you what that looks like though. If we navigate to settings, operating mode, and then we go to our manual modes here. The channel has a video on designing these power profiles if you are interested in this. So do look on the channel for that. Here is the manual profile I have created. This is 12 watt. So as you can see, our SPL is going to be set at 12. Now the SPPT and FPPT are at 15 and there is nothing that we can do to further decrease that. So there is opportunity for the TDP to adjust based on the SPPT and FPPT for that. And the reason I mentioned that, I haven't seen that in my testing that there is a jump to 15, but getting the universal x86 tuning utility and the Armorate Crate software to get along sometimes can be a challenge and not always as smooth. So what I try to do is align the profile used within Armory Crate and the universal x86 tuning utility as best I can to do this. And I've said this in my other videos as well. And those are going to be the settings for Armory Crate specific to the Lies of P profile. So with that, now we can go into the game and look at the in-game settings. All right, so I'm in my instance here of Lies of P on my Asus ROG Ally. I am going to go to settings and I am going to go to the graphics settings specifically. So using my right bumper and my direction pad to do this. And I'm going to review these settings with you. The screen mode, I have this set at the borderless screen mode. It is set at 720. And this is going to align with what I have set in Armory Crate. Here you see that I have set the 720p resolution under resolution. Moving forward to our max frame rate, you have seen, likely, if you have seen my other videos, you see that I like to target the 30 to 40 frame rate range. So I have here a frame limit set to 40. I have my V-Sync enabled. Now V-Sync is going to be 60 Hertz. I have this set in the command center through Armory Crate. So I do have that enabled and that can contribute to a smooth gameplay experience. Let's next talk about the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2. This is going to be preferential. I have this set at quality. That means that the frames that are upscaled to the resolution set within game are going to be closer to 720p than farther away from 720p. That's compared to high performance, for example, where those are going to be at a resolution before they are upscaled. Transitioning to AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 Sharpness. This is preferential. Again, I have this at the default, which is 0.5. AMD Fidelity FX CACAO is AMD's Fidelity FX ambient occlusion feature. It allows for more realistic geometry shading. AMD RDNA architecture optimize ambient occlusion, also known as CACAO, dynamically helps improve the appearance of objects based on ambient light. And this was set as on default in the game so I have kept it on the graphics quality presets I have this set at low this is what was set at default and for graphics detail settings I have all of these set at low and that is going to be our in-game settings for the game lies of P all right and that is going to be our video on extending battery life for playing lies of P on the Asus ROG ally one note that I would like to make regarding the settings, specifically about the testing that I did prior to making this video, there were two outlier events where the wattage drawn by the APU went to 8 and stayed there for approximately 20 seconds before returning to its baseline, which is 11 to 12. I was unable to recreate this issue and found that it was not temperature related. If you encounter this circumstance, then my reasoning is it is an outlier. It could be that the combination of using the two softwares are creating that possibility to occur. I am not able to confirm that though. So let me know in the comments, what are you enjoying about Lies of P? What settings are you using to play this game? All of this, let me know in the comments. I am excited to read what you have to say. So with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect.
I should go.